Good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, I just have a couple of announcements today, not too many. But um, the first one is if you're having tech difficulties or if you're having difficulties keeping up with everything that you're supposed to do every week in my class, please reach out to me. Um, it came up that there were some people that were having difficulty watching the Ed Puzzles, but nobody was telling me that. So um, please do that so that I can fix the problem. Okay, so um, so reach out if you're having any difficulties at all, whether it's tech, tech difficulties or if it is just, you know, I'm struggling to keep up with the work or I don't, I'm confused about what's due when and stuff like that, okay? Because I know it can be confusing whenever I'm not seeing your face every day and communicating uh, that to you in person, okay? Um, all right, roll call. On um, today's Sports Thursday, got my Raves jersey on because um, I guess it's, well, it's supposed to be the beginning of baseball season. Hopefully that'll uh, start up as soon as... It can, but um, yeah, big Braves fan. Lived in Atlanta for a long time when I was little, so um, here we are. Show me your sports swag on the Moodle, or not Moodle, sorry, Padlet discussion boards. Um, and yeah, show me your favorite teams. All right, let's pray. Today we're looking at Luke chapter 22, verses 54 to 71. So this is Peter's denial um, of Jesus, and Jesus brought before the Sanhedrin, which is the council of the Jews. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we come before you this morning. We offer you our intentions and our needs. Um, we offer you our family members, especially those who are sick or suffering. We ask that you would be their healer and their comfort and their strength. We also ask that you would calm our hearts, calm our minds, our anxieties, everything that we have um, that is bothering us or wearing on us. We ask that you would fill us with your peace, um, help us to know how much you love us, um, and that your love is not determined by what we do, um, but your love is determined by who we are, which is sons and daughters of you. Jesus, um, we ask that you would open our hearts and our minds to encounter you in the scriptures, and we give everything to you as we pray. After arresting Jesus, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter was following at a distance. They lit a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat around it, and Peter sat down with them. When a maid saw him seated in the light, she looked intently at him and said, This man too was with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A short while later, someone else saw him and said, You too are one of them. But Peter answered, My friend, I am not. About an hour later, still another insisted, Assuredly, this man too was with him, for he also is a Galilean. But Peter said, My friend, I do not know what you are talking about. Just as he was saying this, the cock crowed, and the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. The men who held Jesus in custody were ridiculing and beating him. They blindfolded him and questioned him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? And they reviled him and saying many other things against him. When day came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought him before their Sanhedrin. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, Are you then the Son of God? He replied to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so, um, yeah, the passion begins, right? So <clears throat> Jesus is uh, 
brought in for questioning at the house of the high priest. Peter is sort of like creeping along behind him, seeing what's going to happen. Um, people start to call Peter out. Um, they say he too is a Galilean, um, probably by his accent, right? So he's speaking. Um, they hear him speaking, and the Galileans were from the north. Uh, they had a different accent than um, people in Judea, and so maybe that's why they knew. But um, but they, yeah, he denies Jesus, right? So the, the prediction that Jesus had made at the Last Supper um, comes true. So remember that this is all happening within the span of two days. So um, Thursday, right there at the Last Supper, they're celebrating the Passover. And um, Jesus is telling Peter that he's going to deny him and Judas that he's going to betray him. Um, and it's like later that night, right, that they're in the garden and they're praying and Judas comes and betrays Jesus with a kiss. And then there he's led to the house of the high priest. So this is all literally happening in the middle of the night, like the early hours of the morning or something like that. And then so now then um, at daybreak, Jesus is brought to um, the Sanhedrin and questioned. OK, so they're in the meantime, striking him, beating him. They're ridiculing him. They're doing all sorts of things to him um, to make him uncomfortable. And when they finally question him, he, again, doesn't give them straight answers at first because they are not going to believe him, right? It's the same thing as when he was in the temple and the scribes and the Pharisees and the, and the Sadducees came and they were questioning him. And he was like, okay, he questioned them, right? They kind of gave him a non-answer and he's like, all right, well, then I'm going to give you a non-answer because you're not listening, right? You don't really want to know who I am. You just want an excuse to put me to death. You want an excuse to beat me or whatever else, right? So so he goes, but then it really, even though he's using sort of um, interesting language, it becomes clear to them what he's claiming, okay? So they ask him, are you the Messiah, right? Um, he says, from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. Okay, that is a huge thing to claim, right? If you're seated at the right hand of a king, that means that you are royalty, right? You have power, that you are above everybody else, right? And so Jesus is saying that he's going to be seated at the right hand of the power of God, right? So that's a pretty strong claim. And the Sanhedrin are like, uh, I don't know about that, right? It's bordering on blasphemy. Um, but then they said, are you the son of God? They straight up ask him, are you the son of God? And he says, um, you say that I am, right? Which is an interesting way to, to respond. But he does use the phrase, I am. You say that I am, right? And remember that I am is the name of God. Um, and so he is basically telling them without telling them, but they know what he means because they say, what further have we for testimony? We heard it from his own mouth, right? Um, so they basically are saying like, he's admitting that he's the son of God. And so now that's blasphemy, right? They think it's blasphemy. It's not blasphemy because he actually is the son of God, right? But they don't want to believe that. All right. So um, yeah, I just, I think that there's so many things we could talk about, but um Maybe with Peter, again, somebody who really does love Jesus, who wants to be in relationship with him. He wants to be a part of his kingdom. He wants to follow him. Uh, even before, I remember he said, like, I'm, I'll go and die for you, Jesus. Like, he's he's willing to, to do these things. But then when it comes down to it, the fear kind of grips him, right? And he's unable to follow through. And I think that can happen with us sometimes. We have to realize our own weakness, that sometimes we can't... Um, do the right thing through the strength of our own will, but we actually need the help of God. We need the help of grace. Um, and so it's very easy for us to kind of backslide and to, um, to deny what we really do believe to be true, right? Like Peter really does believe in Jesus, but yet he allows the fear to get in the way of standing up at the correct moment, right? And so that's something maybe for us to look out for as well is like um, in moments of fear, Am I going to pray? Am I going to turn my heart over to the Lord and ask for his strength and then kind of bite the bullet and do the thing that I need to do? Um, or am I going to just kind of back away, right, like Peter did? Um, all right, so we'll see later. Obviously, we talked about this before, that like Peter, well, he weeps bitterly, right? And then eventually he's able to go and reconcile with the Lord. Uh, but that will happen after the resurrection. Okay, with the Sanhedrin, again, it's just more of like, they're trying to corner him. They're trying to trap him. And they're doing all of this in the middle of the night. The passage that we read yesterday, Jesus says to them, like, I've been speaking openly and yet you come to me in the darkness, right? Like, why? Well, 
the reason is obvious, right? The people lo- love Jesus, right? There's a big crowd of people who have been following Jesus around and they've been believing his words. And so if the chief priests and the scribes and, and the Sanhedrin, if they um, come to Jesus during the daytime, they might have a mob on their hands, right? All of the people. But if they go to him at night, then they can basically do what they want, right? And they can arrest him. They can do all these things. And the people are sleeping. So how are they going to know, right? So um, so they're, they're sneaky. They're underhanded. They're plotting. They're not honest. Um, and they're doing everything they can to push him into a corner, um, and to force him to do what they think is speaking blasphemy. Okay, so like how do we, I guess, um, maybe do that with other people um, where we just try to trap them and we don't actually care about learning something new. We don't care about um, maybe hearing a truth that is difficult from them, but instead we would rather ridicule them, we would rather mock them, we would rather um, back them into a corner or try to force them to look stupid so that we can get the upper hand. Um, So anyway, we're not, I guess, too different um, than the Sanhedrin. Obviously just different circumstances in our lives, but... um, All I can say is God's mercy is strong, right? So when we recognize our sin, um, we can turn to him, we can ask for forgiveness, um, and he wants to take us back, right? So he wants to teach us how to be um, really true humans, um, to be the people that are fully alive and not people that are constantly stuck in the power of darkness, right? So, all right, that's it for today. Um, Assignments. So... I was having some technical difficulties getting some of the lecture videos up. Um, So I'm going to assign the lecture videos for both juniors and sophomores tomorrow instead of today. So for sophomores, um, tomorrow you guys will watch your Chapter 5 lecture video from me and Mr. St. Cyr. Um, Juniors, tomorrow you guys will watch your lecture video or videos from me and Father Brad. Um, having a little bit of issue editing them, but hopefully I can get that done today. So um, so those will be tomorrow. So for today, I'm just, I'm going to have us have a little chill day. Um, If you have not finished replying to the discussion boards on Padlet, sophomores and juniors, um, go and do that. Okay. If you haven't done that yet, then do that. Right. Um, But even if you have done it, maybe go back there and just read through some people's thoughts um, and see if there's any other places where you can reply. Maybe there's a question that somebody posed that nobody else has answered yet, um, but you know an answer to that, then go ahead and and go. Even if you've already... um, commented on something else okay so discussion boards today just kind of make sure that you've got everything up to date for this week Um, and then if you have any questions about that you can email me um, and then just expect tomorrow um, to watch some lecture videos on Edpuzzle and answer the questions that go along with those okay Um, sophomores also eventually you're going to be posting the review questions at the end of chapter five in OneNote so if you want to go ahead and do that today you can if you like don't have anything else Um, to be working on, which you don't really have a whole lot in my class if you've been up to date. So if you want to go ahead and do that today, then that is something that you can do is post the review questions. Okay, so again, that's the the questions at the end of the chapter, not your video questions. All right, so if you have um, any issues or if you need to talk to me about anything, please do that and have a great day.